In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a unified network controller on a Synology NAS. It's really quite simple and it's a great way to host your unified network application. If you don't want to buy like a unified console or a unified cloud key, then putting it on a NAS is a really good idea because it's running all the time. So unlike maybe a PC or a laptop where it's shut down, this will be running all the time. So it's a great way of doing it. And as I said, it's really simple. So let's get on with it. Okay, so I've put in the IP address of my NAS and I've logged in. And now we're gonna do a couple of things before we install the Unify controller. So the first thing we do is we're gonna to go to Package Center and then we need a Docker. So we're gonna type in Docker here and it will bring up Container Manager. So we install that. And that's just gonna take a couple of minutes and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so Container Manager is now installed. If we just click on that, you can see it's running. So we'll close that down now. Now we're gonna to go to File Station and we're going to find that docker file which is just here and we're going to say create folder so we click on that and we're just going to create a folder called unify so u-n-i-f-i -I. oh don't auto correct and then press ok so that's our folder created make sure you put it in lowercase like i have done there because it's in the code in a minute so we close that down the next thing we do is go to control panel and we're going to change our network settings so that we've got static IP address on this NAS drive. You can also do a reserved IP address on the router. You can do both or you can do one or the other. Um, I um, have reserved this already but I'm also just going to add a static IP address. So we click on network and then we go to network interface. Um, you might only have one LAN depending which NAS drive you've got but I'm going to change both of these. So we go to edit and then we're going to use a manual configuration. Press 192.168.200.177 or whatever your IP address of your um, NAS drive is. If you change this to a different IP address, the one that isn't now, then obviously that's going to move, so it might cause you a bit of an issue. So I'll just use the ones that have already been assigned by DHCP. Okay, press OK. And then we're going to do the same on this one. Press Edit. Use Manalite to IP address 192.168.200.187. Set as default gateway, press OK. So now you can see that we've got a static IP address on those two LANs. So now we're going to go back to control panel and we're going to press type task here. And then we're going to get task scheduler. So we click on task scheduler and then we're going to create schedule task user defines script. Now this is a little script to um, help us find out our UID and GID. So we type that in, just put and in there. Um, we're gonna leave the user as the standard user. We're gonna untick enable, and then we're gonna go to schedule, and we only want this to run once. So we say do not repeat, and it's gonna run today. And then task settings, we're gonna get sent an email with that information. So we're gonna put our email address in here. So info at HMS box. Oh. Okay, and then in here we're just going to type lowercase id and then we're going to press OK and then we can just go onto here and click run. Okay, so that will now send you an email address, uh, email sorry, with that information. So you'll find your UID and GID in that information, uh, in that email that they've just sent you. So that's all good and we'll need that in a moment. So the next thing we'll do is create the actual script to uh, to run the Unify or install the Unify controller. So we're gonna go back to create, schedule task, user defined script, and then we're gonna type Unify controller. Oh, can't type today, Unify controller. Make sure you put exactly what I've put here because that's in the script. The script is in the comments. And then we're gonna change the user to root. We're gonna unselect enable. Schedule again, we only want this to run once, so do not repeat. Task settings, we want an email to let us know what's happened with this. So we're gonna put our email address in here again. And then we're gonna put the script in. So that script's in, right, so. Couple of things to note, this is the name that I was talking about here in general, that needs to be exactly the same. Then we'll go down to the UID and GID. They both need to be uh, the numbers that you got emailed. So it says PUID in the email, just says UID, 
and the same with this one it says PGID here but it's just the GID so just make sure that those numbers are correct if they're not as the same as I've got here the next thing you need to do is make sure your time zone is correct obviously in Europe London and then the last thing you need to just double check is that this is correct as well so that's basically where your uh, Unify file is if you're not sure you can just go to file station and then in Docker just go to the Unify properties and then you'll be able to see it there where, what exactly um, where that file is okay so we can close that down and then we can say okay and it's going to ask us are we sure and then we need to put in our password okay so once we've got a password in we press submit and then you can see it there the unified controller so we're just going to right click on that and select run and press OK and you should see quite a spike in your CPU as it starts to upload that um, and in a moment if you give it a couple of minutes you'll start to see things happening so if we go to file station in the unified folder things will start to populate it hasn't happened yet but things will start to populate in here so just give it a couple of minutes and then we'll be good to go Okay, so in the Unify folder in uh, in the Docker, we can now see the Unify uh, files are there. So the upload has been successful. And now we can close this down. We're going to open a new browser. In fact, I've got it here. Okay, so I've opened a new window and now I'm going to enter that IP address of my NAS. So I'm going to put HTTP, not S, just HTTP. And then we're going to put 192.168.200. Dot one uh, eight seven full colon eight zero eight zero, and then we're going to press enter, and then you'll get a privacy warning. Don't worry about this. Just say show details, and then visit this website. And there you are. That's our unified controller. So we can call this what we like. I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube controller. Select our country. Oh, can I do United? United Kingdom, and then we agree to the terms and press next. Okay, so this bit is basically signing to your Unify account so that you can remotely access the NAS. So I would suggest doing this if you have got a Unify account. If you haven't um, got one, you can create one down here, but um, I have got an account, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, if you've got Unify uh, Verify, then you'll need to do the verification as well. Okay, and now we're setting up, so it shouldn't take very long. Right, and now our controller is set up. It's good to go, so we uh, we can start setting it up. You can see that it's self-hosted, um, and it's network controller 8.0.24, so we have got the latest and greatest. Um, and we can start adopting our devices. So if I go down here to Unify Devices, I've got one here that is uh, not going to be used, but I've got a U6 mesh, which I am going to use. So I'm going to click on that, and I can click to adopt it. And that will start to adopt to so the controller. And then I can go and start doing things like atomized Wi-Fi. So because we haven't actually got that uh, access point, it hasn't fully adopted yet, we just do a... Um, we do it without it being applied at the moment. So I'm just going to call this YouTube Wi-Fi password of password. Oh, type this in, password one, two, three. Okay, um, we're going to apply that to all APs and press add Wi-Fi network. So that's our Wi-Fi will be up and running in a moment once this has finished adopting. And then we're really begin. We're ready to use um, use the uh, application in any way we want. Now, because we haven't got a router on this, this is just a software hosted uh, controller. We don't have any like routing functions. But actually, you can use this for uh, the new Unify router, whose name I forget. The uh, the Unify Light router, I think it's called, or something similar. And um, because that doesn't have an inbuilt controller, it's not it's not like the rest of the consoles. It's just a router. So you could this Synology setup will be perfect for that. So that's a good example of where you can use it. Okay, so I think that's about it for me. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.